What is up guys and welcome to episode 2 of my PvP challenges series. In this episode we're going to be seeing if I can win PvP battles. Ideally 3 out of 5 will be a passing rating with a team of only bug Pokemon. So I have decided that for this episode I'm going to do allow bug types that are dual types. So as you can see I'm using Crustle. A Selgor, I think, is just pure bug type, but he's stronger than normal, and I have a lucky one. And then Galvantula, so Crustal is rock and bug, and Galvantula is bug and electric. And so I think I will do another video in the future where I use just kind of Route 1 bug Pokemon, which is what would be expected and what most people think of bug Pokemon. But in this one, I'm going to use some different Pokemon because I kind of believe that their uh, bug Pokemon get kind of a bad rap and are often thought of as pretty weak, but I think there are some pretty strong bug Pokemon that are actually out there, and this is evidenced by this video, I believe. So as you can see, I started with Crustle, and he seems to be doing very well. I was pretty lucky this time. He had the type advantage against the first two Pokemon, Alolan, Executor, as well as Hypno, which is great for me. And so he actually, as you are about to see, is able to take out both of the first two Pokemon by himself, which is awesome, especially compared to my last video of this series, which if you guys haven't seen, you should go check it out. It was on the fighting trio, him on Chan, him on Lean, him on top. And that one did not go nearly as well. I think it helps a lot this time that two out of my three Pokemon are dual type Pokemon instead of just monotype. Because I think the most important thing in Go Battle League, at least in my opinion, is type diversity and type matchups. And so, since there you can only have three Pokemon in each battle, the type of your Pokemon really matters a lot because if you have like just in the last fat video, if two of your Pokemon are weak to one of the opponent's Pokemon, just one of them, then you're in a lot of trouble. And so, type matchups are really important in my opinion, and so that has really helped me out a lot here. But as you can see, even in this video, when I don't have the type matchup, I'm able to do pretty well. I take out the Alolan Sand Slash, and then I'm able to get off the charge move with a Selgor here. And as you can see, um, all of my Pokemon have a different type move for the charge move, so Crustle, they all have their fast move as Bug, Crustle's charge move is Rock Slide, which is obviously a Rock type move, Excelgore's is Focus Blast, which is obviously a Fighting type move, and then Galvantula's, oddly enough, is actually Energy Ball, which is a Grass type move. I thought about changing it to a Grass move, but I decided it was better to leave it how it was, and I did this for a very specific reason. I wanted to show that even if you just catch Pokemon Evolve it and you don't really even do any powering up or use charge TMs that they can still do well and go battle league if you're able to formulate a good strategy and have proper type matchups even though I am using all bug types here for the challenge but so I didn't change any of these Pokemon I just caught them how they are and they seem and as you can see they've been doing really really well however right here I get into some trouble with a Blaziken Blaziken is a fire and fighting type Pokemon and fire is good against all three of my Pokemon because they're grass types uh, and I got pretty worried about that. Luckily, I have a rock type move here, which is super effective, and he didn't use a shield there, which I think was pretty silly of him, so I was able to get rid of him, especially because he knew it was a fire type move. But that worked really, really well for me. And then he has Wish Cash, which is even better, because Wish, Wish Cash excuse me, is a ground and water type Pokemon, which means he's four times weak to grass, the same as Swampert. And so that went really well for me. And so this battle is going much better as well as this entire episode compared to the last one. If you're new to my channel and you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot and only takes a little bit of your time and you're, you'll be able to see more videos like this. And if you're not new and you're still enjoying it, or even if you are new and you're still enjoying it, I would really appreciate it if you threw down a like because that also helps me out a lot. So here we are going into the next battle. And I'm feeling pretty confident by this point. The team is doing a lot better than I expected. Even though I do like bug Pokemon, and as I said, they do get a bad rap, I was a little worried because sometimes the bad rap could be justified. Maybe they aren't doing that good. But this team is able to perform really, really well, and I was surprised. I'm actually getting kind of attached to it. I was almost thinking I might want to try this out as a team long term and see how, it, how far it can get me. So obviously, I'm in the lower ranks right now to try out some of these teams for the videos that I'm putting out for you because it can be hard to win in the high ranks like 7, 8, 9, and 10 with a really good team of like some of the best ranked Pokemon and I'm using some Pokemon that I never really thought of in Go Battle League and so um, I wanted to make sure that I was able to 
hopefully get some wins with all the teams that I'm using. So I want to start out at the lower levels. Also, I would really appreciate it if you had an idea of something you want me to do for one of these challenges, to throw down a comment and say what it is you'd like me to try. And then I can try your comment out in the next video for you and you can get a you can get what you want on this channel because that's what's really important to me is make sure I provide for my viewers. And so this one I got lucky again, Espeon Lead, and I was able to, I decided to use the shield right there. It's something, usually people don't want you to use the shield when you're about to die, but I thought it was worth it right there because I had a charge move that I was able to get off quickly and so I could take down his next shield or get rid of him there. I took down his next shield. But I see this is the first battle that is not going so well. Um, he has... He obviously beat me there as you can see. However, my goal for this team was to win 3 out of 5 as it is with every challenge I do and I won 4 out of 5. So this video is definitely going to be rated as a pass. And so I do think this is a strategy that could work. It may not be the most viable strategy obviously, but it worked for me this video and honestly it was a whole lot of fun. So I would recommend to you to try out something like this if you're interested in doing it obviously it's up to you. But I thought it was really fun, and I think, I hopefully proved, that bug Pokemon can be pretty strong, and that they can hold their own against Pokemon of all different types. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you threw down a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and have tons of fun playing Pokemon Go, because I know that I will. If you have an idea of anything you'd like to see as a PvP challenge, please comment it down below so I can get that for you and I will see you guys next time.